Hey everyone, welcome to a very special video. As some of you may know, we have this Netflix web series called Spill the Boba Tea where I invite special guests from the Netflix world to Boba Mofo Cafe where we make a drink that's based and inspired by the guest's life and career. And I interview uh, this guest as we're making the drink. The thing is though, the drink doesn't just appear out of nowhere. A lot of research actually had to go into that drink to make it specifically for that guest and also make it work for the interview. I have to figure out ways to find ingredients that give me a cohesive interview like list, but then also those ingredients actually have to come together to make a good drink also. So it's kind of like this puzzle that actually requires quite a lot of research and development. So I thought it'd actually be fun to take you along the process of creating this drink before it ever gets to our guest. The next episode that we're preparing for is gonna be with Justin Min, who we all know from the trash can commercial. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, he has been in many Wang Fu videos, but we also all know him from Netflix's Umbrella Academy. So normally the first step of this process is we actually just start doing research. We just do a deep dive. And so we end up with this little spreadsheet here but Isaiah, who's behind the camera, and Jessica uh, help me out with this. They go through various interviews, both written articles and also video interviews. They make a bullet point summary of what was in those interviews and then come up with ideas of what we can potentially use. Let's see, Justin Hong Ki Min. So the first one is always the Wikipedia, obviously. He grew up in Cerritos. So normally I would be like, all right, I'll look at where people grew up and I'll try to find some ingredient that's related to where they grew up. I'll put a pin in that. Uh, he went to Cornell. All right, so now we're getting some interesting things here. The city Cornell's in Ithaca, upstate New York. Maybe there's something there. I'll keep thinking about that. Let's see, obviously, okay, Umbrella Academy. He's a ghost. What if the drink is not there? <laughs> what if we just don't make a drink? So Isaiah watched a bunch of these GQ interviews. He already even says just stuff that he likes. He loves avocados. He loves black milk tea. He likes buffalo wings. Oh no, he loves ranch. Ranch in a drink. Can we do ranch in a drink somehow? Or maybe what I could do is I could bring up all these food preferences and just talk about these GQ articles. Like he brings up a lot of interesting stories within these GQ articles. So maybe it'd be an opportunity to dive deeper into those. I found this very interesting. He eats oranges like apples. And no, 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 not like peeled and then eating like an apple, which I can kind of justify or I can kind of understand. He eats it with the rind on it. I think we're gonna have to question him about this. So oranges, Obviously, he's been in Wong Fu shorts, so I definitely want to talk about his early stuff with Wong Fu. So um, let's see what is in Dating After College. Probiotics from the kombucha. Oh, the kombucha. OK, obviously, we got to do kombucha. Oh, this is interesting. He performed everything by Michael Buble at a church event. He sings. Hey, you went pretty deep to find that. I'm still trying to even just get to the point of asking about Cerritos. What about Cerritos? I feel like this ranch thing, I bet that Cerritos, the land, used to be a ranch. Cause a lot of California like property was like Spanish, Mexican like ranches back in the day. Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna go to Cerritos Wikipedia. Let's see their history. Her history. One soldier, Jose Manuel Nieto, was granted a large plot of land by the Spanish King Carlos III, which he named Rancho Los Nietos. There it is. Rancho Los Nietos is the region that became the whole area of Anaheim, Artesia, Cerritos. But okay, so if I can use buttermilk in it, then I can bring up ranch. Then I can bring up Rancho Los Nietos. Then I can bring up Cerritos. This is how the show goes. I bet, okay, I remember when I worked at a boba shop, I would make avocado smoothies. Mm. Avocado smoothies need something creamy in it. I think normally I'm gonna just avocado smoothie recipe. Let's see if there's actually an avocado smoothie recipe with buttermilk. Avocado buttermilk smoothie. It, it's a thing, it exists. Orange and avocado buttermilk. I'm not even making this up, it's right there. And I always like try to start with like what's the base and then try to add things onto it, right? So with the avocado, I can bring in the, the buttermilk. I, I know that I want to interview him about like his college and his transition from graduating into acting. So let's talk about 
Cornell. Let's know, let's zoom out. Ithaca. Let's do Ithaca Wikipedia. Ithaca agriculture. All right, what is Ithaca known for? Ithaca is known for central New York's farming and dairy industries. Cornell's dairy research facility is the center of research and support of New York's large and growing milk and yogurt industries. Yogurt, dairy, ice cream. If we put ice cream in it, I can ask about Cornell. I'm gonna to talk to Zach, who helps me with the actual creation of the physical drink, get his feedback. We'll see what he thinks about some of these ideas. All right, this is Zach. He's helping me develop this drink. He's done a lot of the R&D with me for the past episodes. We got our buttermilk, um, which is supposed to represent the ranch. We got some kombucha. We got some avocados. It's all going in the blender. I've, when we started Bo Pomofo, we made a conscious choice to not have any blended drinks. People are always confused about that, but I just personally hate blenders at cafes, and I'm glad Zach shares in that. It's too noisy. It's too noisy. You know when you're at a cafe hanging out and then this happens? Yeah, right? Oh, this is it. How are you doing today? Cool, yeah, no, thanks for checking this out. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Smells like a uh, cake batter. Yeah. Cake mm -hmm. batter. All right, let me smell this real quick. Okay. Ooh, very tart. The buttermilk makes it very tart smelling. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, can you even drink this? You're lactose. Oh, that's why I only got a little bit. Oh no. All right, Zach is sacrificing yeah, himself for, for the, the content. For the cause. Yeah, for the cause. Oh, you got to give me a little garnish here too. Yeah, of oh wait, what did you use to sweeten? Just the our honey. Oh, honey. Okay. Yeah, honey. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is this? That's disgusting is what it is. I think it needs more avocado. I don't think there's any yeah, avocado. Yeah, how much avocado do you bring here? A whole avocado. Oh God. Just. Other times we've done R&D for the other episodes, usually the first iteration is at least close. This is, this is just sour. I just realized we just made like sour spoiled milk. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, because it's sour milk, which already is sour. Sour and then... And we add an orange. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this orange to get the taste out of my mouth. Yeah, that's a chaser. <laughs> two avocados this time? I'm gonna do two. I think we need more avocados. That's the orange zest. Yeah, we're doing this orange thing because Justin is crazy and he eats oranges like an apple with the peel. What do you think of that? I think it's insane. <laughs> that's, oh my gosh. Fizzy with milk. <laughs> Zach is asking if we should measure it. Um, let's eyeball for now. One ounce, two ounce. <laughs> to make it more smooth, does it need more li liquid? liquid? Okay, let's just try it. Yeah, so that's too watery. At least it looks more like a avocado smoothie now. Oh, that's way too watery. Uh, actually, mm. all right, this, this, I mean, there's only one way to find out. Oh, that looks okay. Yeah, actually, yeah, that, that's a good consistency, okay. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Mmm, yeah, it does. Yeah, this one smells way better already. Cheers. Cheers. Go to your first sauce. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but, but it, the it, honey's it, very strong. I, I don't like the consistency. Like a slime a little. I mean, that's the avocado. It doesn't taste bad. I think if it was just more sweet, but not honey sweet, because the honey's kind of overpowering like, right now. Coffee. Actually, the more I'm drinking it, like, it's growing on me. <laughs> that's the probiotic. <laughs> <It's been> <laughs> so, you want to try it with agave? Maybe. Yeah, I think agave would be good. I keep finding myself wanting to drink more. I'm like craving it now. Would this go well with the, 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 the ice cream? However much buttermilk we use, that, that's that, just That's right. enough, yeah. All right, we're gonna um, pick this up tomorrow with some adjustments. Great job, Zach. Thank you. This was actually pretty good, and I think we're on a good start. We'll decide if we want agave or honey. We're gonna decide if we want a bowl or a regular cup drink. Um, so yeah, still a little bit more work to do, but I think, I think we're close. Yeah, we're right on close. the right track. All right. Day three of of R and D, just use some fresh orange juice here. Oh God, orange juice, fresh squeezed orange, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, almost exactly one cup. Did you know that? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's pretty 
nice. Yeah, it's good. This is what we got. This is Justin's avocado ranch. <laughs> avocado ranch smoothie. Just a little for you. This is nice. This is actually pretty nice. Strangely refreshing. It's very bright. And then because of the avocado, you get a, the feeling of like almost like a green juice. Yeah. Dang, this is good. This is legit. The only thing that is missing from this drink is that there's like nothing, no flair on the layering. But I think I'm, I'm gonna put a big, like several scoops of ice cream on the top, which I think will make it look cool. This just kind of looks a little plain. This is good. Is this healthy also? This is pretty healthy. healthy. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking about like, yeah. It's like agave, kombucha, orange juice. Up and whole avo a whole avocado. Yeah, that's pretty healthy. I think once I had the ice cream on top, and let's say like it might dribble down a little bit, and I'll put the sesame seeds, I think it'd be nice. Zach, great job on this one. Thank you. We've done a lot of crazy things for the show. This one turned out really nice. All right, I can't wait to see how Justin likes it. Have you ever had an avocado smoothie? No, I haven't. Do they generally like the drinks that they drink on the on the show? <laughs> How's that look? Interesting. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Whoa! This is a symphony of flavors. I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I know why this drink isn't fully connected with you yet. I know why, it's missing our one last special ingredient. A little umbrellas, guys. And there you have it, the entire drink journey from conception to reaction. Justin's reaction, I honestly thought was gonna be a little bit bigger. I thought he was gonna love it a little bit more. He's just he's just a more subdued kind of guy. He, he, he really did love the drink. I love the drink and enjoy sharing this entire process with you guys and showing you behind the scenes. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see more videos like this one. And also check out the other episodes of Spill the Boba Tea on Netflix's YouTube channel, Still Watching. There's a lot more guests and a lot more crazy drinks. See you there.